Today's video is brought to you by Mixel Cables. These premium cables feature a custom TPU jacket with increased copper wire thickness. This makes for an extremely durable cable and coil that will withstand the test of time. Their current featured theme is Phantom Purple and it looks absolutely amazing on all of my keyboards. You can choose between a push and pull type connector or black and white aviators. These high quality cables are currently on sale from $30 to $40 with free shipping, so order yours today while supplies last. Links in the description below if you're interested. If you've been following the mechanical keyboard community for some time, you've probably heard of the company Drop at some point. They're responsible for dropping some of the community's favorite keyboards, the Drop Alt and the Drop Control. With a starting retail price of $180 and $200 respectively, these keyboards are out of reach for a lot of consumers. Enter the Drop Enter. The Enter is $90 and a direct result of Drop's effort to create an accessible keyboard but not sacrifice on enthusiast grade materials. It's available in three different colors, black, green, and silver, and comes with your choice of tactile Halo True or linear Gateron Yellow switches. We're going to be unboxing this today, and I'll also give you guys my first impressions of it. We also have a Horizon keycap set from Drop Skylight Series. Special thanks to Drop for sending both of these products out. Let's go ahead and get started. Drop has taken a very simplistic approach to the packaging. All you see here at the front of the box is their brand name and logo. Nothing else on any side of the box, but on the back side, you do have one sticker with some product identifying information. I would have liked to see some product description here, but just know that the model we're unboxing and reviewing today is the silver case with white keycaps and Halo True switches. Let's go ahead and open it up. Inside the box, you have some product documentation, the keyboard itself, a white rubber Type-C USB cable, and a white wired keycap puller. Here's my first look at the drop enter, and I have to say, the white on the keycaps and top plate is extremely bright. This would definitely look good with anyone rocking white peripherals. The keyboard itself has a very nice weight to it. It's lightweight, but it's heavy enough that it doesn't feel cheap. Let's go ahead and take a look at the keycaps. Drop states that these are the same durable double shot PBT keycaps that you would find on their high-end alt and control keyboards. They're highly resistant to fading, and won't shine like cheaper ABS keycaps. The thickness and weight of the font isn't perfect, but overall they look very clean and legible. These keycaps are also shine through, but we'll take a look at those white LEDs later in the video. The texture is a nice balance between smoothness and grainy. It feels very nice and definitely adds to the typing experience. I measured several keycaps and got an average wall thickness of 1.31 millimeters, which is really close to the average for good keycaps in this price range. The centering on these keycaps is great. The keycaps are aligned perfectly within each row, but I do have one complaint the spacebar. The spacebar is warped and it is noticeable. Thankfully, the drop enter features a standard TKL layout, so it's extremely easy to find replacement keycap options. To demonstrate this, let's go ahead and apply those Horizon Skylight keycaps. Here's our first look at their Horizon keycaps from Drop Skylight series, and I think they look great on this keyboard. The blue modifiers definitely give the keyboard some character. The overall quality looks identical to the stock keycaps, but the spacebar does look a bit better. I thought the white scheme looked nice already, but if you're looking for something to break up the monotony of all white keycaps and top plate, be sure to check out Drop Skylight series keycaps. They come with enough keycaps for a full-size keyboard. There are currently five different colorways, and the retail price is $45. Links in the description below if you're interested. Now let's go ahead and move 
move on to the switches. These are drops Halo True switches and they're manufactured by Kale. The Halo Trues are tactile switches and are on the heavier side of the switch spectrum. I personally enjoy heavier switches for productivity so these are right up my alley. The tactility on these switches is different than what you might experience on other popular tactile and clicky switches. The tactile bump is at the very top of the key press so if you're coming from Cherry MX or Gateron Browns and Blues, be prepared for a pretty sharp difference. The Halo Trues have an actuation point of 1.9 millimeters with an actuation force of 54 grams. The total travel distance is 4 millimeters, which is similar to other popular switches from Gateron, Kale, and Cherry. If you aren't into heavy tactile switches, Drop does advertise another option, the linear Gateron Yellows. However, it is not currently available, so hopefully Drop brings these back soon. Next up, let's talk about the body and design of this keyboard. The most obvious thing for me is the Enter's durability. The anodized aluminum casing and top plate are very sturdy. Pressing in on various points of the plastic top plate, I could not experience any give whatsoever. The aluminum casing is also just as strong. You would be hard pressed to find another keyboard with this kind of casing and durability at $90. As I said earlier, this keyboard is lightweight but still manages to have a premium feel to it. It weighs in at 2 pounds and 3.4 ounces on my scale. I like the overall style of the drop enter. It has a very streamlined aesthetic. Other than the rounded corners, the keyboard is relatively flat on the sides and on the bottom. The top plate has a matte finish to it. It feels great and it should be resistant to fingerprints. The plate doesn't line up perfectly to the aluminum casing, but you have to look really close to tell. On the bottom of the keyboard, you have two sets of rubber feet. The bottom pair is made of a really high quality rubber that is extremely grippy, while the top set is plastic and also features a kickstand with a rubber coated tip. The keyboard angle without the use of the kickstand is relatively flat, while the kickstand gives the keyboard a six degree typing angle, which is very comfortable to type on. The Type-C USB port is on the left hand side of the keyboard and is not recessed at all so it should accommodate all of your USB cables. One thing I do like about this approach is that with the included cable the connector sits flush with the body of the keyboard and adds to that streamlined appearance. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lighting on the drop enter. The LEDs here are extremely bright and they are unquestionably more than enough for any dark environment. You can adjust the LED brightness by using the FN key paired with up or down. Other than that there aren't any other LED customizations available. Next up, we have the sound test. I'll spend some time with the keyboard and give you guys my overall impressions. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about my overall experience typing on the drop enter with Halo True switches. What I'm about to say is going to sound like I'm trying to sell you this keyboard, but here goes. To my surprise, out of all the keyboards I've experienced up to this point, I clearly type the fastest and most accurately on this keyboard. The tactility is different from all the other mechanical tactile switches, and for me, it's a welcome change. I only have two complaints related to the typing experience at this point. The first is actually one that you might expect if you're familiar with Drop's more popular alt keyboard, the stabilizer. They're not very good to say the least. The Drop Alt is a great keyboard, but this was one of the things that held it back a bit, and it seems that it still hasn't been corrected with the Enter. A little bit of lube or dielectric grease would have made a significant improvement. The second thing I noticed related to the typing experience is there was an audible amount of case ping when you're typing in a quiet environment. It didn't take away much from the typing experience for me, but it was enough that it was worth noting. Another critique that I have is that the Drop Enter doesn't have any software available to configure it. I think this will be okay with most since the keyboard is a TKL design and has all of your productivity keys. However, for gamers and other users, it would have been nice to be able to record different macros or reassign the multimedia keys. As far as what I would have liked to see added to this keyboard, it would have been nice to have an RGB option available or more than two switch variants, similar to what Keychron offers on their keyboards. However, this may have been an intentional move by Drop as they do offer these features on their more premium keyboards. As far as my overall experience goes, I really enjoy typing on the Drop Enter and highly recommend it for anyone looking for a budget keyboard with enthusiast grade materials. 
The build quality is superior to other keyboards in this price range. The switches that are available offer a great typing experience and the neutral aesthetic should fit well with most setups. If you guys are interested in the keyboard and would like to support the channel, you can purchase using my affiliate links in the description below. As always, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel by subscribing. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I gotta go eat some rice. This is Lil Rice Muncher Gaming, signing off. Thanks.